Hello and welcome to our Advent Lexio Divina series, a production of First United Methodist Church of Oak Ridge. We will be engaging in the ancient prayer practice of Lexio Divina, or divine reading. After a brief centering exercise, you will hear a piece of scripture read a total of four times. With each reading, you will be invited to engage with the scripture in a specific way. After each reading, there will be two minutes of silence to allow you time to prayerfully engage. A chime will sound at the end of the two minutes. At that time, the sacred text will be read again. If you would like more time for prayer, you are invited to pause the recording. And the experience will conclude with a simple prayer. Our reading today comes from the prophet Isaiah, chapter 9, verses 6 and 7. During this first reading, I encourage you simply to listen and notice if there's a word or a phrase that just seems to jump out at you, seems to beckon to you for your attention. So again, I will lead us first in a centering exercise, and then we'll read this one time, and then we'll be followed by two minutes of silence. And again, you're invited just to simply ponder on that word or phrase that seems to call for your attention. So let us now prepare for Lexio Divina by taking a couple of deep breaths. So I invite you to breathe in and out. Another deep breath in, breathing in. And out. And one more breath as deep as feels comfortable. Breathing in. And let it out. And now let your body find its own natural and comfortable breathing pattern. And let us pray. Gracious God, grant that the words which we hear this day with our outward ears may, through your grace, be so grafted inwardly in our hearts that they may bring forth in us the fruit of good living. Amen. For a child has been born for us, a son given to us. Authority rests upon his shoulders, and he is named Wonderful Counselor, Mighty God, Everlasting Father, Prince of Peace. His authority shall grow continually, and there shall be endless peace for the throne of David and his kingdom. He will establish and uphold it with justice and with righteousness, from this time onward and forevermore.
Hear this reading now a second time, and in the quiet that follows, I invite you to consider how this word or this phrase speaks to you in your life right now. For a child has been born for us, a son given to us. Authority rests upon his shoulders, and he is named Wonderful Counselor, Mighty God, Everlasting Father, Prince of Peace. His authority shall grow continually, and there shall be endless peace for the throne of David and his kingdom. He will establish and uphold it with justice and with righteousness from this time onward and forevermore. Hear this reading now a third time, and in the quiet that follows, I invite you to consider what God may be inviting you to do or to be through this word or phrase. For a child has been born for us, a son given to us. Authority rests upon his shoulders, and he is named Wonderful Counselor, Mighty God, Everlasting Father, Prince of Peace. His authority shall grow continually, and there shall be endless peace for the throne of David and his kingdom. He will establish and uphold it with justice and with righteousness from this time onward and forevermore.
Hear this reading now one last time. And in the quiet that follows, I invite you either to sit silently in the presence of God or to pray to God. For a child has been born for us, a son given to us. Authority rests upon his shoulders, and he is named Wonderful Counselor, Mighty God, Everlasting Father, Prince of Peace. His authority shall grow continually, and there shall be endless peace for the throne of David and his kingdom. He will establish and uphold it with justice and with righteousness from this time onward and forevermore. Let us pray. Gracious and loving God, we thank you for coming into our world and for all that you have given us and you continue to show us and the light which shines in this world through your goodness and through your truth. Help us to grow more fully into that light and be the people that you call us to be. And it's in Christ's holy name we pray. Amen.